Hey! Hi! We're in New York, everybody. Well, we're currently in Connecticut. Right, yeah, we're about to go to New York, actually. We are here visiting Hope's wonderful family. Her parents live just down the road. We are sitting on the train station, about to head into Grand Central Terminal to spend the day together in New York. Sorry we haven't filmed much over this holiday yet. We've been here for a few days. Um, she haven't filmed anything in about a month. Yeah, and I'm sorry that we haven't sorry. shot any and edited any and uploaded any. We're just bad. But I'm sorry that we haven't posted any videos in a while. But, hey ho. If you still like us, that's cool. We still like you and value you. Throw us a comment to say, hi, I've been waiting for you to come back. I missed you. Um, and then I'll reply and say, hi, what's your name? Where do you come from? <laughs> so we're in Southport, Connecticut. It's a very small little town, tiny little town. My parents' house is about... That's um, where we are, Southport. My parents' house is like just through those trees, really. It's about two minutes to walk to the station. It'll also take you about two minutes to walk to the shop, the Spick and Span, the pub, which is the shoe, pharmacy, which is like Switzer Pharmacy or something. Um, my parents are moving soon to Rowayton, so we won't be in Southport. But they're all So that's quick. just like half minutes. an hour, 20 minutes. Closer to New York. Closer to New York from here. So this train that we'll get will be about an hour, is it? No, more than an hour, I think. I think Hope's nose is literally dripping. That is gross. Why would you film that? Because <laughs> that always happens to me and I've never seen it happen to her. <laughs> you look that. like Peter Andre at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hit the slope. Come on, move your body. <laughs> like this. Whoa, Southport baby girl, I want to get cold of you. <laughs> You're so gross. Whoa. Fix your hair, please. Okay. Tell them where we are. We're at the zoo. Have you been in the pool? No. I have. Have you? Yeah. Is that any good? I I came here and then adopted a polar bear because there's a polar bear here. Oh yeah. Good. Time to feed them. Hey buddy. I think, do you think they are hungry? Yeah. I think they're so ready for some food. Came at the perfect time because they're starving Marvin. Ready? Three, two, one. You can jump out. Right, let's see if I can get you a seal doing a flip in 60 frames per second. I got two. Whoa! Yes! Whoa, yes! I nailed it! I hope you guys got that. Because that was awesome. Let's rewatch that. I'm looking very wintry, very Christmassy. We just had a hot dog and chicken tenders at this little spot next to the Trump rink. We've been in Sephora for a while. These are the selections. We've gone for these, um, metal, eyeshadow, sateen, topaz, and cognac. I'm really sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't know they were fragile. So we've just been sitting on the floor. Like, my hand is covered in them. Both of Hope's hands are covered in makeup. And I think we've chosen. What do you guys think? That one, that one, that one. And I think that one, but Adam thinks that one. No, I like copper metal. I mean, yeah. penny metal. Let's go for we it. You have penny metal in your hand. Not on mine, no. In your hand. Uh, no. We are just in Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Off Fifth Avenue. And we're having a little beer. I kind of fancied the cider, but Adam's made me get the beer. If I'd known you would have wanted a cider, I would have got a cider. Because they have a little free stand. Go ahead and show them the stand. There's a couple of very attractive young men behind the bar saying, Who wants a free beer? Well, we're here in the centre of the universe. It ain't no camp. I mean, damn, it is 
Times Square. It ain't no less the square. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. I always forget them too. I was just trying to remember them. We're just amazed. That's cool. Facebook telling everyone to pull out your phone and go live to all your friends right now. When my parents first came to New York, they went to this particular restaurant that, say, uh, that served train wreck fries. And they would tell me about it all the time when they talk about New York. And then when we came four years ago, they I had a real like tough time when I first came there. I was really ill. And then so I went back to the hotel with my dad, like vomiting all the way. And eventually when I felt better, he took me to this place and it was still there and it served train wreck fries. And now I really want to find it, but I don't know what the name is. But I think it's down one of these streets, from what I remember, and get Adam some train wreck fries. They were not thinking about vloggers when they did these lights, because yellow light is worse for vloggers. It's all about the halogen. What? Halogen is where it's at, halogen. not necessarily white light. Yeah, that is, that is absolutely it. Why do you think a flash on a camera is white, not yellow? Because it's the white bulb, but it's not necessarily halogen. Oh, well I just mean white light then, not necessarily halogen. We're here in Virgil's. We found it. That was the name of the restaurant I was talking to you guys about. And it's all decked out and Christmassy. The last time the last time that I was here, I sat on that table there with my dad. And had train wreck fries. I'm not ordering train wreck fries simply because they're like a big star. I thought they were just like a side dish, but they're like a huge, like starter, 14 pound dish. So we were like, nah. But we're going for a like sharing platter with like ribs, pulled pork, and brisket. I've never actually had brisket. I don't know if you have. I think we have, but we went to Bodine when in London, and I think we had brisket. Really? I don't think we did. Uh, we had two different types of ribs. We had, like, weird little cups. Hope has just left for the toilet, and then the food has arrived. Woohoo! I'm gonna tell her I haven't eaten any. We have been absolutely defeated. This is supposed to be for one person. Did Adam, you already showed them? Yeah. It has absolutely defeated us and we are two healthy eaters. <laughs> and when I say healthy, I mean like hefty. <laughs> That's Adam's mac and cheese, Adam's weird Yorkshire pudding thing, Adam's half of the bread and my half of the bread. <laughs> That's just my leftover ribby bits. He's got a bunch of pulled pork and stuff on his plate, as have I. I'm it's sorry, defeated us. If you're hungry and you wish you could eat our leftovers, I would too. But we don't feel like it's quite enough to warrant a doggy bag. It's a random, it's like a piece of toast. I don't believe that one person would order it. I think it's made for two people. But if you look around you, one people normally have one of them. I've just seen them. Anyway, I'm thinking dessert. <laughs> Make a shape! Write your name! Adam, I want a teddy bear like that. <laughs> <laughs> 